Google Sheets Modifying Cells. The instructions first ask us to make a copy of this document, and I've already done that here. You can click on File and Make a Copy to make a copy for your own use. The next thing that we should always do is to change the name of your file and then move it to your DAR folder. I've already done both of those. Step three then says change the row height to make the rows smaller. In order to select all rows and all cells of this sheet, we will click in the box to the left of column A and to the up, uh, up above row one. I click here and now they turn darker, which means all of these cells, rows and columns are selected. In order to make the rows smaller, I'll use my mouse and go down to between one and two. And now you can see that my mouse has turned to an arrow up and an arrow down. While it is selected arrow up, arrow down, I can click and hold my mouse and move it up to make it smaller. Now, even though I'm just doing this on one row, it will perform the same action on all rows. Watch. You see, all rows got smaller. Step four in the directions then say to select A1 through I1 and merge these cells. The merge button is in your toolbar to the right of the borders. Click, if you hover over it, it will say merge cells. I'm going to click these this merge cell to merge all of the cells I have selected. And you know that you have merged the cells properly when Frontier Kids Cookie Sales is centered all in one line in the middle upward of your sheet. The next step in the directions, step five, says insert row below 11. All right, so I'm going to find row 11. I'm going to click on row 11. And then I will right click and I'll insert one below. And I will click in A12 and I'm going to type my name. The directions say to type your name. Next, Step six says go up to row seven, which contains the name Ben Mathis. Click on the number seven to select the entire row. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete that row, the entire row seven. Now, as you can see, it is no longer there. Step seven says, insert a column between columns G and H. So I'm going to scroll to the top of my document and I'm going to find column G and click on column G. I will now right click and insert one to the right. And then it says that we should enter total quantity in column H2 for the header. I will type total quantity. And then I'll click off of there. Now you'll notice that the word quantity goes out of the cell and I cannot see 
the last part of the word quantity. We're going to fix that now by selecting cells A2 through J2. Now A2 through J2 is selected. I want to wrap text and center align it. The wrap text option is right here. I'm going to click text wrapping and I want it to be wrapped. And then while A2 through J2 is still selected, I want to center align it. Click on here, go to center align. So you'll see now total quantity is showing fully in cell H2. I'll click off of there. And then the final step says to freeze top two rows. I'm going to freeze these top two rows by clicking here on this handle above row one, make it uh, the hand, and I'm going to clench that, grab it, and move it down two rows to freeze rows one and two. Now there are other ways to do that, and I would encourage you to explore more ways to freeze or unfreeze rows and columns. But at this point, if your document looks similar to what I've got here on my screen, you may submit your work through Canvas. In order to submit your work, you will need to click on Share and change your link to MSD Warren Township. Click this blue link and then copy link. You can click done and then navigate over to Canvas and paste that URL into the Canvas assignment Dropbox. Once you have submitted it, you are done.